The IT guy, looking at the computer, typing on lines of code, as he types away. The IT guy doesn't like social interaction. What day is it, by, by chance? IT guy, it is mid-November. What? Wait. Oh my goodness. I need to go home. I need to go home. I'm back here for Thanksgiving break as a student, and I think one of the questions that people are going to be asking me in the future, uh, some people are asking me right now, is how can you, uh, as an individual, as a student, tell me what to do? because uh, I am not experienced. I don't have qualifications. How can you, uh, as a student, tell me what to do? I'm going to address that question today, and I hope to answer this in the best way possible. Hello, everyone. My name is Grant. Uh, I am an undergraduate student planning to complete an undergraduate program uh, in cybersecurity at Southeast Missouri State. I think one of the questions, the future questions that people will be asking me, at least I have identified, is how can you tell me as a student what to do? Right? I'm a student too. You can't tell me what to do because you have no experience in this industry. You have little to no knowledge and you have no qualifications. So why can I why would I follow a kid who has literally nothing? Why would I follow his advice? go ahead and address this question by first starting out with something I've identified in the industry. So in the cybersecurity industry, I'm going to go ahead and just take an example. Okay, so go to securityweek.com whenever you're watching this. Securityweek.com is a website, uh, a very good website called about the security news. Uh, they have security experts who write uh, for the column and it, it's a great, it's a great website to utilize on a daily basis. And if you go under and you scroll down to like the middle section, you'll see experts uh, who have addressed certain things in the industry. Some of these experts address the skill shortage gap or things of that nature. And their uh, pieces are really good. Uh, their, their writing pieces are very informational, very knowledgeable. And I'm specifically talking about these people, these experts who are addressing the skills gap. But one of the things that I've identified in this industry is there's a lot of 20 25, 30 plus years experienced professionals who have beyond qualifications that you ever could expect to get or, or want. Um, and they have degrees, they have this, they have that. They have a lot of uh, qualifications and they have a lot of experience to back that up. And don't get me wrong, there is definitely a place in time to listen to their advice. In fact, I would say definitely listen to what they're saying because they know where the industry is going, they're knowledgeable, they're experienced, uh, they have practical knowledge in, in this industry. As a student, I don't. So you shouldn't follow my advice in terms of, oh, you know, this is where the industry is going because I don't really know necessarily where the industry is going since I'm not an expert. I don't know necessarily. But what I can tell you is that there is a lack of connection between the students who are just entering college who are transitioning into a career in cybersecurity, who want a career in cybersecurity, there's a lack of connection, right? Because students can be here listening to these, these people, these experts, but if there is really no practical knowledge, practical experience and practical uh, wisdom and advice that students can be getting right now, you know, what can they do being right now? Um, that's where they lack connection. And so that's where I've identified the issue and where I want to come in. And I hope that other students uh, my age will come in eventually. I really want to help people uh, identify if cybersecurity, first off, is something that is right for them. Uh, you know, that's not necessarily every person, every individual is geared for a career in cybersecurity. So for that's something I really want to identify. And second off, I really want people to get that entry level experience, right? You can't be this great ethical hacker or this 30 plus years experienced person or have these certain qualifications or work for this particular company uh, at this position unless you start with getting some entry level qualifications and entry level experience. And so that's where I come in. I'm going to help you uh, as a student get that uh, entry level experience. And when that happens, 
I'm done. My job is done. Now you're going to go and listen to those experts because those people know exactly what to do in those situations. I don't. So please do not think that I know all the answers because I don't. I'm a student. I'm a learning student. I have a lot of learning ahead of me. And one of the things that uh, I know, I do know hands down, is that I am not nearly as knowledgeable or as qualified to talk about the skill shortage gap when we have experts who are doing this uh, for a daily basis, on a, on a daily basis, they're looking, they're researching. So please do not let me think or let me show you or let me um, portray this some kind of, I'm an expert, I'm not. But I'm gonna try to help you get that entry level experience because I can connect to that. I know exactly what it feels like to have no idea where to start or even is cybersecurity right for me? Right? Is, is that a career I really want to, do, to pursue, to, to, to acknowledge? Um, that's where I can come in. I can help you uh, and with cheap uh, resources, both financially through my website and just the resources that I've been able to find, I think you'll be able to figure out if cybersecurity is right for you, how to succeed in a qualification standpoint, and then how to get that entry level experience. And then my job, like I said, is done. Go ahead and go all the way back to the beginning of the video where um, the question is, how can you as a student um, say certain things or give me career advice uh, when you really haven't attested, haven't really identified, or haven't really done much uh, of what you're saying? And to preface that and to address that question directly, I would say, this. I've sat down with industry experts. Uh, I've had the ability to work as an intern already. And I have identified and I am very passionate about my career in cybersecurity. I don't really do much besides this, this career. And I, I don't, uh, in terms of um, leisure and activities, this is what I do. So leave that responsibility in the hands of me, right? I really want you as a student or as a prospective student or as somebody who is um, transitioning into a career in cybersecurity to listen and to utilize any of the resources that I provide. And honestly, you can pick and choose. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm saying. Because yeah, you're right. My knowledge um, and wisdom, just like everyone else, is flawed. So, I am an entry-level student who understands the connection, uh, the, the the lost, the lost feeling, the isolated feeling of I don't know where to start in this career. I have been there, and I'm still there to some extent, and I'm helping you guys not have to worry about that. Not have to worry about that. You have direction, you have resources, you don't have to worry about that. So, yes, I am not qualified. However, I am somebody who will. So I hope that answers the question. Uh, I think, again, I don't try to portray this look at me kind of attitude because I seriously have a lot of wisdom and knowledge to, to look forward to in the industry. So I hope this really helps you guys in understanding where I am coming from. And I hope that I can help you on this platform. I'm really planning to just continually help you guys. You know, something that I really want to do. So if you found this video helpful, go over to my website, www.cyberinternacademy.com. And it's starting to grow uh, in terms of resources, free downloadable resources, uh, recommended resources. I have a pretty good arsenal in a way now of content that you can digest and really work towards. I hope this is helpful, guys, and have a good day.